Today I'm unboxing three discontinued Saber Forge lightsaber hilts, and they are Saber Forge Vengeance, Bane MK1 DT, and Vigilant. So I was able to get in on a pretty good Saber Forge sale a while ago. They discounted some of these hilts that the Saber Forge decided to discontinue, and it was a pretty good discount, you guys. So it was 50% off, which is nearly unheard of with lightsabers. But at any rate, let's check it out. Let's see what we've got. Now, a few of them I did get more than one, but let's see. I just opted to get the empty hilts. I think they had an option to get installed hilts too. But yeah, that's 50% off discount from Saber Forge is, I don't, I don't know if I've seen that any other time. Um, let me know if you've seen it, maybe with other discontinued products. I don't know. Okay. We've got lots of paper. Okay, it's labeled. Let's just remove all the sabers first. And, huh. We've got a shirt in here too. I don't remember, maybe there was some other promotion going on when I purchased this to get the shirt. Okay, there's the Saber Forge shirt, you guys. That's the logo. Let's move that over there. And this little packet. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we have some cover tech wheels and things like that. And that's sort of what I would have expected for a little packet. Well, we know which one this one is. This is the Bane MK1 DT. So here is that one, curved lightsaber. You can kind of grip here with your fingers. It sort of fits. Huh, that's interesting. And uh, we have the claws at the top. Looks like there's a blade plug installed too. And there's the bottom. There's kind of this seam down the center and then we have some dummy switches installed here. So that's the Bane MK1 DT. And that is a second one. I'm not gonna open another one of those for you guys. Here's Vigilant. It's kind of nice they labeled these. Labeled them with painter's tape. Okay, Vigilant, we have kind of a small activation box here. More dummy switches, all of these will probably have dummy switches. Almost like totally silver appearance to it with, uh, well, here's this black cover tech wheel. Did they give me extra cover tech wheels? Maybe not, no, I, ah, this, uh, this Sabre doesn't have a cover tech wheel installed on it yet, so I guess that's why they included that. We have another blade plug at the top. That's the reactor blade plug. And I think that's pretty much it for this saber. We'll look in there just because. Oh, it's pretty dark with the blade plug installed. It's kind of nice that there are blade plugs on these sabers because then that sort of completes the look of the saber if you're going to just use it as a display piece. Okay, final one, you guys. So this will be Vengeance.
It's a good dark side sounding name. Papers with that one. Hmm, okay. Here's the Vengeance, and that one has some weathering on it. This is uh, an example of Saber Forge weathering, what that looks like. Pretty cool. Same um, blade plug at the top, it looks like. Kind of this slanted or S-curve emitter to it. Sweet. <laughs> uh, same thing with the dummy switches here. You have some grips here. Is that metal? I think they're metal grips. Very cool. So it looks like I got, I don't know, looks like there are just a few kind of extra cover tech wheels in here and a uh, you know, Saber Forge card and then, uh, wow, it's like a bunch of different uh, hex wrenches too. So this is kind of the haul today, you guys. These are some Saber Forge Sabers. Um, this was Bane MK1DT. And I already forgot the name of this. Uh, da, da, da. Vigilant? Yes, Vigilant and finally Vengeance. So that's what we've got today, you guys.